Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I'm at another prepper's house, a friend of mine. He's been blessed with two wells. One has his existing pump in it. Um, he's had this house for about six months, so he's making improvements. But he was blessed with a second well. So this is set up perfectly for him for a baler bucket. As he develops his property, he'll definitely put some other source of manual pump or something. Um, but right now I'm going to show you a baler bucket that I've just discovered that is probably the best baler bucket on the market because of the features and I will show you the features. Let me go ahead and pull this up. This is a baler bucket um, water boy. Wellwaterboy.com is where I got this from. Um, go, go ahead and lift it up. The neat thing about this, normally you would have to pour the water out. I'm in a limited space so that would not be possible but this has a plunger up on top. Just pull it and the water comes out. This particular one, uh, I think it's three gallons, but they come in all different sizes. This is a great piece of equipment. Um, I like the design. Most ones you have to go ahead and pour it out like this. This one you don't have to. You simply have a little plunger on the top and you pull that and it releases and you can get your water. So for him, he can set up a little pulley here. He can pull it up, move it over, open the plunger, the water comes out, drop it back in instead of having to do all that movement. So I think this by far is the best design. I like it with the uh, pulley, you limit your touching this. This is being touched. If you're in a situation where you don't have water, your sanitation, your hygiene is probably going to be suffering a little bit just because you don't have the water available. So the more you touch this and set it down in your well, the more chance of contaminating your water source. So this design is really nice. Say you have an existing well and you're going to use one of these. This is a worst case event because you'd have a cap on this well. You'd have to pull your cap, pull your pump. It's a lot of work um, to get to use one of these. But this is a worst case EMP event, maybe a catastrophic failure of your well pump and you can't afford to replace it right away. So one of these, you'll be able to get clean water for your family. Um, I think this should be coupled with a rain catchment system to supply all your needs. Thanks for watching.